Hi, welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of several Tudor history books. Now I'm taking you back to the reign of King Henry VIII today. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 5th of January 1546, geographer and poet Richard Willis was born in Pullen in Dorset. He was educated at Winchester College under headmaster and neo-Latin poet Christopher Johnson, and then at New College Oxford and Louvain in Belgium. In 1565, he joined the Society of Jesus, i.e. he became a Jesuit at Mainz in Germany, and he obtained his master's there in 1568, and in 1569 in Trier, he began training to be a priest. After going on a pilgrimage to Rome and working as a professor of rhetoric at Perugia, he returned to England in late 1572. Now, even though he'd been a Jesuit, on his return to England, he decided to actually become loyal to the Church of England, which was, of course, Protestant. And he was incorporated at both Oxford and Cambridge universities. Willis is mostly known for his geographical works, which include the 1577 History of Travel, but he was respected by his contemporary authors as both a poet and geographer. His biographer, Anthony Payne, notes that his history of travel included a treatise on navigator Martin Frobisher and the Northwest Passage, and new material on Asia, which Payne describes as nearly all derived from continental sources and including accounts of China and Japan translated by Willis and never before printed in English. Librarian William Poole described Willis as a 16th century religious renegade and concrete poet, and one of the quirkier figures in the literary history, not only of the college, that's Winchester College, but of the Elizabethan period as a whole. And some of the quirky things about him include his change of religious stance from Jesuit novice to Protestant, the fact that he wrote a poem in Egyptian hieroglyphics, and Paul notes that Willis's poems are the first extensive examples in England, although written mainly in Latin, of what would today be called concrete poetry. So he's rather a, yes, I would agree, a quirky character. And I'll give you a link to read Poole's article on Willis, which actually includes um, a bit of his strange poem in hieroglyphics. So it's definitely worth a look. So yes, a quirky figure for us today. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking right about there. You can give me a like and leave a comment and you can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live, which good news is on a daily basis. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.